The Fourth Industrial Revolution by Klaus Schwab. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a little funny this morning. Fighting a bit of a cold, but don't worry, I think I'll be okay. Moving forward. So, the Great Reset is something that I keep hearing about, keep people bringing up, talking about, as if it's like ine- inevitable. So, I figured I'd do a little digging on it, just so that I, I'm not completely ignorant on what's going on in the world. I uh, found out this Klaus Schwab dude is basically behind it, is basically his brainchild. Why do we care about what this guy thinks? Well, turns out he's the head of the economic... Uh, World Economic Forum, which is a prestigious uh, thing where heads of state go, United States, other European countries, and everything else. So he has the ear of some very powerful people, as well as billionaires, Bill Gates, guys like that. So, at the very least, we should pay attention to people like this. So imagine my surprise when I find out that this guy has written a book about the Great Reset. Uh, there are a few of them with his name on it. Uh, I got the one with just his name on it. I did not get any of that are co-authored. Uh, he isn't an author. He's an economics uh, economist guy. So the writing isn't the best, but that's not really why we're here. We're not here to be entertained. It's more for finding out what what this whole this whole thing is and why do we care. So there's a lot to kind of unpack with the Great Reset, but there's a few things that I'll focus on and I'll leave the rest to you. It gets increasingly more personal and micromanaging of people uh, the more you read, but there are a couple things that I guess bugged me. The first would be um, when it talked about property as far as like real estate. Well, this is one thing that I, I do know a little bit about. By trade, I'd say I'm a plasterer, so I know <clears throat> my own personal properties. Um, I do all the mud, anything related to mud is usually me. So concrete's usually me. Concrete countertops, the tile I usually end up doing. Uh, if it has a concrete floor, I typically polish the concrete floor. Obviously the walls I do, all the plaster. Um, when I do properties, I tend to rely mostly on things that I know. So if I do a lot of mud, I do less mill work to keep costs down. It usually ends up looking pretty modern, which is a nice clean look. But I'm starting to get a look. But anyways, besides the point. The as far as like micromanaging property, what came to mind was uh, the the eviction ban that we had going through COVID. So government dictating what you do with your private property. Um of course, they said, well, no, your tenants still have to pay you the rent. Well, if you don't think about tenants, if they don't have to pay, they won't pay. And then what they do is they just leave and then they don't pay you your back rent of, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, depending on what your property is. And you're never going to see that again. A lot of these people will either leave the state or they'll, um, they're either on um, uh, some sort of like a welfare or something and you cannot garnish wages, federal funds. Uh, so you, you basically end up just getting stuck with the bill. Uh, that's the reality of it. I know the government had other plans, but well, how often does that work out? So I guess what I'm saying is, is that in the Great Reset, he references property and moving people around and, and getting them so everyone has a place to live. Well, let's say you have a four-bedroom house and you have three people living there. So you have an extra bedroom. There's a portion of it that goes towards, um, I think what he was saying was that if you have an extra bedroom that is known to the government, they basically place somebody in your bedroom so that your whole house is being used. So you have now have a stranger living with you dictated by the state, which is a problem. Um, now, as far as private property goes, I, I never thought that you really owned your property to begin with because you always have your tax. So how would something like this be implemented? Well, you could always just be taxed uh, out of existence with property taxes, just keep raising it, raising it, raising it, which is happening a little bit now with inflation being the way it is. Um, 
I got a notice in the mail that my taxes are going to be going up because now if you've watched, if you're paying attention to how much the housing costs nowadays, so there's been a real rise in house prices, uh, which means your house value is higher. Uh, and now your taxes are going to go up as a result of that. So let's say they want to take control of all their property. They could just raise your taxes to the point where it's just no longer practical to own it. So then my next question is, all right, well, who's going to maintain all these properties? Because um, if you follow the trades as well, a lot of guys are leaving the trades and they're not being replenished with young bodies. Uh, nobody wants my job. Despite, you know, looking actively for people to train, nobody's interested. So this is a, a big problem that's coming. So it's not really that far of a stretch to imagine uh, if the government's going to tell you you can't evict somebody who is trashing your house, not paying you, and you're still on the hook for the mortgage, the taxes, utilities, and everything else, it's not really that much of a stretch to assume that they would place someone in need that they feel is in need in your property, uh, which of course won't be your property. So then what's to say that they couldn't kick you out or relocate you as they see fit? So that's one of the first things that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, there's a lot that kind of bugged me about it. Um, and the second thing that really bugged me is he talked about um, people leaving the workforce, retiring age 60s, you know, 65 or 62 or whatever it is these days, which of course um, is the whole motivation for going above and beyond your daily needs is so that someday you can walk away from the life and sit on a beach and do whatever else. So he goes into, well, there's huge chunks of people's lives, which is unproductive. Well, that's because you worked most of your life. So really, you're, the private citizen is, is viewed as more of like a cattle. Um, so you're not going to really have a say on when it's time for you to stop your work career. Guys like me will not be able to work. Uh, 260 just because of the physical demands of the job I can barely walk on my stilts now and I can't even imagine trying to do what I do into my 60s even even being on site and training other guys I just don't see it being uh, practical so really what do you have to look forward to um, now all that being said if you look at the data as far as like the national debt clock uh, and what's going on with our currency, specifically the Social Security and unfunded um, retirement programs, pensions. This is really why the stuff like the Great Reset really gets brought up is because it is seen as inevitable based on the numbers that we're facing in the future that we're looking at as far as uh, the, our currency is con concerned. A lot of people, I don't know if it's just because they haven't lived long enough, maybe they haven't been taught history, a lot of people don't believe that this is something that can happen. Well, the fact is, is it has happened in history through to various currencies. We've had lots of inflation in the, everyone's talking about the 70s being the last time we had inflation this bad. Uh, I want to say interest rates were 18%, I'm probably wrong on that number, but it was high. We're not quite there yet. I think we're at like 6% for like a mortgage. And another thing since the 70s, if you look at the the incomes that people had in the 70s versus today, the incomes have not followed that trend. So if the inflation continues, eventually that gap will get wider and wider. Some sort of a correction is needed. Some people are talking about this great reset. Now, it seems far-fetched, but... There's a lot of things that have happened in the past two years that I thought were far-fetched. Uh, I did not think the the eviction thing would happen, uh, and it did. I did not have any problems with it, but I knew people who had uh, people they couldn't get rid of for long periods of time trashed the properties, and that's just and that's a real common story. It's not like a fluke thing. I know a lot of people that have had issues. Read a lot of horror stories. Um, and now the problem with is going to get worse with housing because now you have people like me leaving the workforce, 
not getting replenished no it's cost so much to build so new construction is out the window people are not gonna sell so you're gonna have more of a, a gap with the um, supply um, most people I know are doing only renovations which is fine my business is kind of centered around that and also it's getting harder to call a tradesman without going through a builder first because guys like me do not want to filter out homeowners will just basically work through builders make a little bit less that's fine um, to not have the hassle so just finding a house and maintaining a house is getting increasingly harder and if you have like an eviction on your record don't even bother applying to most buildings because they just simply won't rent to you if you have an eviction. There are plenty of people out there who have clean records that are going to be the first person that gets in line. In case there's another eviction issue, you're a risk factor. So it's only getting worse. There is a correction needed. I hope this isn't how things go down, but it's looking increasingly more likely. Also, it felt to me like this is the events like a, almost like almost felt like a prequel to the book 1984 like the events leading up to a world like that maybe that's just me being a little bit paranoid who's to say time will tell but i'm glad that he wrote it all down for us and gave us a nice little warning that's what i thought let me know what you guys think obviously there are more more things about it more uh personal things as far as like healthcare and stuff like that that it goes into but I'll leave it up to you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time.